Hey folks, Ben from Explominate here, and welcome to episode 9 of this Let's Play of Shadow Empire. This is a beta version of the game, or a press release version. Um, so there may still be some bugs and that kind of thing, but it's remarkably bug-free, I've got to say, um, from, from my playthrough so far. Uh, let's see where we were at the end of this last turn. So we had this force coming in from the from the west. They've got some fairly high tech. Uh, this is Pesaleria, uh, Pesaleria, and um, they they've got sentinels. Now these are these are walking units. They've got some pretty hefty guns on them generally. Um, they've got 160 soft attack, and they they they're also not too shabby in hard attack either. Um, now uh, we have got some tanks which should the lasers of which should be a good counter look I'm at 539 on the attack however we've only got 25 mil liquid armor and liquid armor is not designed um, to to defend against any uh, against conventional rounds which is what I think that these sentinels use um, I can't tell exactly but I d they might, oh, mind you, looking at the model there, they might be lasers. If they're lasers, we're okay. If they're Gauss weapons or they're, um, they're sort of more conventional machine guns, they can pen they can generally penetrate something like fifty mil mil uh, fifty millimeters of armor. So our and these 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 tanks, this kind of armor, this liquid armor, doesn't react well at all. So they might chew through us. We've got to be a bit careful here. We do have our own walkers, which we are bringing in to counter them. Um, but we do need to get some kind of anti anti vehicle uh, units up here as soon as possible now as of this moment we don't have much in the way of technologies to be able to do this we don't we don't have any RPGs or uh, any anti tank or tanks ourselves so we are relying on whatever we've got with the militia because some of the militia units um, are likely to have um, RPGs let me just have a quick look yeah so we've got some rpg militia here for example but they're not really i mean they're only doing 20, 20 20 hard attack which is just not enough and there's not enough of them either they're not really going to be much they're not going to be much use there on the east side of victor snow we are slowly pushing back a faction of you of, of mutants now i'm hoping it's possible that they might attack us, but I'm hoping that, they, that we can push them back without having to attack them ourselves. If not, I'm going to try and surround them and um, encircle them and then defeat in detail. As far as our, our actual uh, city is concerned, we are, we're just trying to get into the first initial stages of building some logistics. Um, sorry, not logistics, uh, building up our economy. So we need to we need to be kind of focusing on pumping pumping out some industry at the moment because if you look, this is where we're going to be bottlenecking. We've got plenty of metal, um, and we've got plenty of water now. Uh, we haven't got any food coming in, which is a shame. And this is going to run out quick. Um, however, we do have we have started building an agri dome. Now um, we it stalled that turn I think because we didn't have any we didn't have any machines. We now have got machines. So we should be able to uh, have this agridome finished before we run out of food however in order to facilitate that we'll just see how many it takes every turn so uh, construction costs every two rounds it's taking 50 uh, 50 industrial points that's plenty we should be fine um so i'm not going to i'm not going to build anything else this turn and i'm going to roll it on and see what happens Yes, the Moribund Commune are a major regime that we've got on the right at the north end of our borders. And we don't really know much about them yet, apart from the location of their city. Um, so I, we, do, we will need to face those eventually and figure out what their intentions are. So we've got five decisions. Um, okay, the strength of this crisis of passion is very serious at the moment. This is causing, this is causing unrest. <clears throat> In one turn, the crisis of passion will start diminishing. So we're, we're kind of through the we're, we're almost through the worst of this now. Um, okay, so we kept a promise to increase our happiness. We've researched barracks, which is excellent, and we've researched a new GI model, uh, a new a new infantry model, and we've discovered motorbike infantry, which is great because I love bikes. Not only do I like the idea of hordes of 
howling troopers tearing across the tundra in you know on their bikes adorned with skulls and all that kind of stuff but um, they're actually really good at recon <laughs> they are they're like infantry they work very much like infantry but they have excellent recon so they're i use them right through the game <clears throat> excuse me I, I like to use um motorbikes right through the game i think they're really really useful and they're just fun and they they, are, they have a really fast movement speed too so these guys are still in supply. I'm just going to turn my logistics view on. Yeah, so we we can continue pushing back some of these uh, some of these borders. Um, I might start moving towards that road. And we've uh, we've uncovered another another free folk town, which is good. The more of these, the better, because the more of them will, the more the more free folk we have, the essentially providing we keep our city happy, the more people will start moving into them. Um, so, I think firstly I'm going to deal with this with this issue here. Yes, yeah, so these these mutants are moving back. Let's try to oh, let's, I'm going to move those up here. I don't now now we've shortened the front so I don't need to use the HQ I don't think. Um I might just keep those guys on that metal biped uh, on this because this is a useful where are we? Uh, metal biped. This gives us 100 research points. Uh, bonus. 100 research bonus points. Sorry, not 100 research points. So, um, we've got enough men just to, to extend this front out. I don't know if they'll do, they'll have much use attacking, uh, if they'll have much success attacking these. Let's have a look at these crossbillies. Yeah, they've got 79 um, soft defense. They're actually not bad, and they're certainly going to be better than these guys. These are really. They they do ten in attack, but they their their defense is terrible. We could we could probably crush these guys if we attacked them. I'm just interested from a from a perspective of exploration just to see how far we can push them back, um, whether we can do that without actually engaging them. Uh, yeah, and that's just just because I'm interested. Here we've got um, uh, more free folk. So yeah, we're going to get some more free folk, and, we, um, and again we're gradually pushing back through these mountains. The, these guys will run out of. Of supply very very quickly going through these mountains so yeah we're out of supply already or we're we're at least in a low supply route so our organic supply is is isn't taking as much isn't taking as much as it really needs and let's take a look at this side hmm I was just interested to see if we if that's a new militia unit we've got there, but I'm I'm I can't actually see. These are oh this is the third light infantry battalion. That's right. So these uh, we'd left these guys here to counter any potential uprisings. With that in mind, I think it might be smart for us to just look at our decisions first. So let's just go to the decision screen. Um, first it was wanting we want to set the national budget. Let's just see where we are with our research. You have to bear with me, guys. It was a uh, it was a few days since I last played this, so I just want to catch up where we are. Um, so we've we've got barracks and sealed roads. I don't want to research any more in here until I've got. Re uh, I don't want to yet yeah, complete any more research until I've got university. Um, and I mean, power plant would be handy. Physical storage is also handy, but I'm not. It's not essential. But university is is really really important. So I think what I'm going to do. Here's a little trick for you. Um, I'm going to I'm going to keep the economic council priority fairly high. Um, I think it's still the most important thing just for the time being. Uh, let's just go back to the economic council research. Uh, solar energy or hospital. Now, did we have? I just can't remember whether we had um, any more power stations in our zones. Well, there's one way to find out. If we go to assets. Um, and let's just go to the to these assets here. No, it looks like so we we've only got our initial what we've initially got um, by the looks of it. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to go for solar energy. Hospital is also useful because it will enable us to increase the quality of life. But let's go for solar energy. Energy is going to be important very early on. Now we've got the opportunity to develop a new model. And we've just improved our infantry. I'm going to go for motorbike infantry straight away. I really like these guys as I was saying. So um, let's put a carbine on them. And the just standard Enviro suit. 
and now we're being asked to appoint an advisor and yeah this was the person that we recruited last turn i remember and he's no good he's not going to be good for an advisor i'm just going to leave that for the time being until we've got a better uh, let's see if we, we can actually find another leader no we don't have anything um Okay, uh, we've got two decisions. So we've got riots in Jura. Yeah, this is what I was expecting. Now we can we can try and pay them off and get some democracy points. It's meritocracy we're really we're really um, struggling with. We can't pass that roll though. That's you know uh, difficulty one six seven and one hundred plus forty two. We're not going to make that. So we're going to have to use bring in the old Jack boot again, which honestly I don't mind doing. I'm quite the authoritarian. Um, Let's let's po postpone that advisor for now. Um, just have a quick look at the dashboard. We're, our tech level tech levels going up. Civilization level staying where it is. Leader supports going down. Okay, so we're not far off researching high velocity guns. Yeah, we're, look, we're we're putting so much money into uh, the discovery investment here. I think that's probably wise. I, I don't want to. I don't want to open up these the the, the branches of the tree too quick. I, one thing I've learned with this is, if you go on a discovery spree and you start, um, uh, sorry, if you go on a researching spree and then you start opening up these tech branches too quickly, sometimes there might be a tech that you really need, but you're because the the way the discovery works is random. Oh, there's a random element to it. You might find that it you're you're not getting those techs that you need. Like in one of my games, one of my early games, I didn't actually get power plant or solar energy until I'd until I'd researched right down in here. In fact, I think I got I I researched nuclear power, nuclear plant before I got power plant or um, solar energy, which was a real problem. So you've got to be a little bit strategic with the way that you do your research, um, depending on what planet you're playing on. On this one, it's we we're going to be relying on we're going to be using uh, this volcanic power most likely but for the time being that solar power is going to be good okay let's think about what we're going to do here well first let's get some eyes on um on these on these units here so let's see what we've got okay bring the walkers in i might actually uh i suppose i could join those two walker units into a bigger unit We've got some jetpacks, which are going to be exceptionally useful. Ah, this is a different regime. Okay, so we've got Pelora territory here. Um, Pelora territory sounds like... Mm, that could be some sort of... Yeah, they're going to be raiders of some sort, no doubt. Um, what's this here? Stormy foam. Oh, that's a wind, uh, waterfall turbine. So I wonder why it's showing that. We put, oh, that's right. That's because we re, we put a spy in there last turn, didn't we? I remember now. Okay, so um, let's start. Just move this this military unit down. We need to contain these guys until we're ready to attack them. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to... Yeah, the relationship was really low, so we could go to war with them if we wanted. Um, they're likely to attack us as well if they think they've got an advantage. Here, I'm really not sure what to do with these because we've got... I mean, we have got the 4th Machine Gun Infantry Battalion, but they aren't, they're not at full strength yet. Um, we That's actually something that we should probably do, is to is to bring up our numbers of infantry, particularly now we've got these GIs. However, um, more more pressing than that was that we need to get this f uh, food. Uh, we've, got, we've got a dome that we need to build. Let's see if I can find where that is. Uh, yeah, it, it will come next turn, that's okay. I think we can probably, I'm going to leave it for now. The, the, those guys will be able to hold the line on their own. I'm going to wait until next turn. I really want that food dome up as quickly as possible. <coughs> One thing I've noticed from doing these videos, and I'm, I'm recording quite a few of these each day at the moment, is that unless I, if I don't drink, I, uh, <coughs> I get a sore throat because of all the talking. <laughs> I 
Okay, so this uh, now this this situation is starting to wind down the crisis of passion. So, in two turns, the effects of the crisis of passion will have disappeared, which is great, and we'll be into a new epoch. Uh, we've discovered physical storage. Okay, that's great. I found ancient storage near Winkleberg. Six machinery. Uh, I'm happy with that too. Two new stratagems. So, um, these guys haven't moved. Neither of these. Let me just double check that. Oh yeah, they, they they did push back actually. We did push them, these mutants back, so they are they are responding to our aggressive uh, aggressive posturing. No, we don't want to invade them. I'm just going to keep pushing them back um, and see how far we can we can push them. Now, hmm. They are seem to they're, they're, there's more of them here in this in this square here in twenty eight twenty eight. So I could try to surround them. I'm fairly sure that um, these 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 units <laughs> they they like this brothel. They, <laughs> I don't know what it is with mutants and brothels, but they they're obviously into the ladies too. I don't know if uh, we can actually cut them off. I'm not sure how that works. I, I think I remember reading in the book in the manual that um, the the native units uh, and the minor regimes can uh, they they get supply trickling in through their various methods. Now I know that certainly works. For example, when we were taking Jura, uh, that's certainly the case. They you can't just starve them out. Ah, look at this. We've got some we've got some units pushing in on us. Let's see what our decisions are saying. Okay, so we need to raise our bureaucratic assets. I think that's doable. Let's just see when it is. 21 and it's 28 yeah i'm going to accept that we should probably be able to do this um research military research council priorities again i want to go back to the tech tree and just see where we're at um so yeah we can't really we can't research anything more now we've got everything um in military so we might as well put everything into into research and rather into discovery let's I'll just switch these around. It only costs a few um, political points to change these. So if you really want to micromanage it every turn, you can. Let's upgrade uh, Richter Snow to a minus city. Aye, aye, and now we've got this issue to deal with here. Now, um, I just want to take a look at Jura. Yeah, we, the happiness is still very low and it's, and it's dropping. So we can't spare too many units here. Let's, let's see what we've got. Let's send one of these guys out. Ah, it's one, another one of these. Um, maybe those RPGs might be might be useful. Well, they don't have very many. Uh, these guys have got just got a hundred as well. I don't want this. I mean, we're going to have to deal with this. We're going to have to attack these guys because they're just they're pushing in on our territory, and we can't have that. So let's let's surround them. Although I've got to be a little bit careful not to. We can't leave. Uh, we can't leave Jura without uh, a garrison. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna invade these guys. Um, I can't have them doing this. So let's. Uh, yeah, it's, look, we're we're getting three to three point seven to one odds. Now we've only got sixty two recon points. I might actually send in just a few more units. I might send in just one more unit of GI. Let's just see if we can get just a few slightly better odds on that. No, it's, no, it's less luck. <laughs> the uh, the odds the odds system you have to be really careful and not to trust it too care too much. Okay, saying eight to one now. Let's try that. Do it, do it now. Yeah, they had more. Um, and it looks like we can't, yeah, we can't, we, we, we just can't get through that armor they've got. So um, we've got to be careful here. Those guys could cause us some problems. They could cause us some problems. Uh, it's the same issue with this uh, here. Now, Pelora. Yeah, it's another, it's, they've got so many walkers. I was, I was actually saying on the forums, on the matrix forums today uh, in in there was a discussion going on about the 
about the effectiveness of the AI regime, uh, the AI minor regimes, and I was saying that at least in some of the games that I've been playing, or the three three or so games that I've been playing, they they've not really been much more than a roadblock. However, that's a significant roadblock now. <laughs> I think I might have spoken a little bit too soon. Uh, we do need to get something up to to be able to face these guys. Is this? Uh, where are we? The Agri-Dome is now finished. We'll be getting food next turn. This is good. W what we need to do now is really quickly f develop some something that can fight these. We're going to need high-velocity guns to take these down. Or the alternative is that we find more uh, more of these uh, GIs, uh, these General Republic or Galactic Republic um, era weapons. They might actually be able to take out these things. Let's try attacking and see what happens. Yeah, we drove we drove them back, but we lost one of these guys, which isn't good. Um, so we don't want to do that too often. And that also means that yeah, I mean, we're not gonna we're not gonna do too well against these walkers. It's interesting that there's two minor regimes with those walkers there. Okay, these guys are still in supply, so let's see if we can push these boundaries out a bit further. Um. I'm going to replenish these infantrymen now. Let's try and build build up our force our numbers there. Uh, we've still got plenty of industrial points. It might be worth building, uh, starting to get some rail up, because rail is much more effective than road in order in 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 moving your supplies. So because we've got our SHQ, SHQ1 is going to be here. There we go, SHQ1 or S1 as it is designated. Um, we, this is responsible for pushing all our supplies and um, anything that's attached to S1, which is pretty much everything at the moment. If we just go to the OOB, look, everything is attached to S1, including all our um, infantry units, um, the independents, uh, the 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 all of the HQs that are attached and the, and the militia so the bottleneck is often I found if you've not if there is a bottleneck and your men are not receiving the things that they need it's often because they've not got enough supply going between the cities particularly when you start getting larger you know much larger territories than we've got now this we I mean we've got a fair we've got a fair space but Sometimes, you know, if you start getting half the planet under your control, then that's where there's going to be some real issues. Okay. Um, kind of tempted to keep these guys together. I don't know how far these guys, the, this um, Pesaleria is going to, is going to try and push in, into our territory, but I guess we're about to find out. So... I want some more men. What can we raise that might actually be helpful here? Well, not a lot, really. There doesn't seem to be much. Um, more to the point, we, we can't actually build anything anyway, and I think the main reason for this is we don't have men. We, it's men that we're we are lacking. I'm just going to call the governor and just see how much... Yeah, we're only getting 500 a turn. Now our city's growing kind of quickly, so we could probably increase this now to a thousand. Um, I might just drop the recruit bonus cost just a bit, so we're not. Um, we will. There, there will be a natural limit to the amount that we'll we'll sign up if there's only a certain amount of money that they're having to they're, they're being paid. However, you have to be a bit careful because if if a lot of people do start signing up for whatever reason, you might end up spending a lot of money on the recruit sign up bonus. Um, I'm just going to put this on allow emergency food too. Okay, I'm going to repeat the same thing with Jura. Uh, let's just go to the zone orders. I'm going to drop that back down to ten. If we find that we don't, we're not making any money, then um, then yeah, I will I will actually change this. Now Jura is losing people, and I think that's because um, we're we're setting work to do. So uh, I will allow emergency food here. If we if we find that our recruits are dropping, then I'll I'll drop I'll I'll raise that bonus again. Okay, I think that's all we can do really on this turn. Let's have a quick look at the strategy cards. Um, I'm, I am going to send another. I'm going to send some spies into here. Critical success. That's great. So we got two. We got two spies there. I'd like to see what's going on in that major regime. We haven't had a chance to look at them yet. Um, uh, Moribun. 
So actually, we've got enough. We've got enough spies on them now, so we can see where they're at. Their mood is cold. Their relationship is 68, and the desired relationship is 71. So it's it's raising. Um, they are currently in. Uh, there's a, the Democratic Trade League are in power. They've got most of the support, and they're real politicers. And I think we discussed this before, but these guys are much more likely to be open to negotiation. So let's just hope that they, that they don't try to. That they don't try to go to war with us essentially because we're not going to be able to deal with with all these battles all at the same time i might leave this one more turn before i start fighting uh because i want to get these i want to get the replenishments in one thing i'll say about this game is at least in the current the current uh builds that it's in the turn times can take quite a long time to, uh, towards the end of the game, even on the smaller maps. Um, and I've got quite a, I've got quite a good computer with a really, really good CPU, but it's still, it's the turn times are a little along the long side. So, yeah, maybe that's something that will optimization tends to come a little bit later, doesn't it, in the development of these games? Okay, <clears throat> it's not unplayably so. It's not unplayably slow. It's just, it's just a little bit longer than I'm sort of used to with, with commercial games. Okay. Let's just have a look. Firstly, I want to have a look at the urgent issues. This is always worth looking at. Uh, so, yeah, we've had problems supplending, uh, sending replacements to units. So, which one is that, I wonder? There is a way to find out. Usually it's... We can have a look in our HQs. I don't think it will be any of these. I think it's most likely to be... It's most likely to be one of the... SA, something to do with the SHQ. Um... Consume 20 for... There's so much information in all of this. I'm not going to go through this too much now because um, it's probably not that exciting. But there's lots of information here, hidden away in those reports. They're really, really useful. Um, and, I've, and I've found that I use these way more than I thought I would. Particularly stuff like um, the personnel overview. This has become really useful for me. Um, okay, let's go look at the decisions. The RA faction would appreciate it if you take a candidate of ours into your service. Which ones are the RA again? They're the reformist army. This is the main one. And they're they're happier with us anyway because we we are autocratic at the moment. So yeah, we'll we'll take we'll take a, a leader. Sometimes they're really good. Other times they're not. Okay, so we get the opportunity now to uh, create a new organization. Um staff council is probably the one that we want. Secret Service Council and Foreign Affairs are also really useful. Inter Interior Council is also good because that will give us the ability to create more leaders and uh, manage our leaders better. But uh, And Applied Sciences is useful, but not yet. I think, yeah, we'll just go for Staff Council. Staff Council is responsible for the the, re the discovery and research or the op uh, uh, operationalization. God, that's a word. So for the for the discovery and operationalization of your of your organizations, which is the 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 formations that you create to to give structure to your troops, we've got protests in Jura again. Um, this is going to happen now until we deal with this. Uh, the one way to deal with it is just to keep crushing them with the troops that we've got there. Um, we won't be able to. We're very unlikely to be able to talk them down with to get the meritocracy bonus, which I'd quite like actually. Um, we could give them money and gain democracy. That might be useful. And but actually, gaining seven points of democracy is going to take us up to 40, uh, 43, 44, which means it's not going to affect our autoc autocracy. Um, no, I'm just going to. It's the jackboot again, I'm afraid. There we go. So our troops succeeded in containing the protests. It raises your fear. We lose troops and they lose, and we lose workers and all sorts of stuff. But um, it's it is effective, and the happiness will eventually go up. What we do want to do is um, we once we've got some, once we've got ourselves a little bit more stable, is we want to to ensure that Jor is self sufficient. Because I found that sometimes if the uh, if the SHQ has a lot of stuff to do, then sometimes uh, food and that doesn't always get sent. <laughs> so it's not really a problem at this stage of the game. Let's just have a look at the history and just see where, what 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 was moving. 
Oh, they, we were attacked. Let's just go. Let's go back to that again. Next battle. Okay, they attacked us here, but they didn't. They didn't do any damage. Um, we've got too many troops around them. Uh, let's try and deal with this first. I reckon. I think if we swamp them, we should be able to. We should be able to take them out. So. Uh, I I think that's. We're we not getting uh, an over. No, we're not getting any penalties there that I. To do with combat width. Okay, we cause them to retreat. I really want to destroy them, but it's going to be difficult at this rate with with just with these troops that we have. They're just not. They're just not really what we. Uh, anything that's any good. I don't know if we can actually damage these sentinels. I don't know what armor they've got on them. I'm not sure if we we can tell from ours. No. Oh well. Um, it looks like the Pesaleria have have taken some of this terrain off the uh, off the Pelora. So yeah, that's the Pelora territory too. This is a good opportunity for us to start pushing this territory back. I think I'll start doing that next turn. I just want to make sure that there's not more riots. We may have to deal with more riots. We've got loads of metal on this map. Lots and lots of metal mines. And we've got loads of radioactives too. We definitely want to take advantage of that. Okay. Let's push these, these troopers in. It's looking like... They are trying to make a stand around this brothel. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm going to attack them. I think let's let's just let's invade them. Oh, hang on, our relationship is very good. We're going to get a happiness damage. Ah, you stupid mutants! Perhaps we can perhaps we can force them to uh, force them into some kind of altercation. Now, having my HQ unit here is a real risk, and I, I probably wouldn't recommend doing that normally, but I don't think they're going to attack us. Um, I think it might be wise for us to raise more units now. We are we Now that we've got this, this Agridome up and running, we should be creating more food. I was expecting to get more there. Uh, we've got plenty of water, and we've got plenty of power. Ah uh, yeah, and look, we got we got more recruits. You see how dropping the dropping the cost of the the recruitment actually worked there. I mean, we don't really want to be paying uh, paying our recruits that much if we unless we have to. I'd rather actually that mo if we've got extra money to burn, I'd rather that money went into. Um, let's just go to. The, oops, not the national budget. That's not what I wanted to do. No, we can just leave that. Um, We've got loads of political points, so that wasn't a problem. Uh, if we go, just call the secretary again and go to salaries, we can we can increase the salary of our soldiers somewhat. Now I might just pop that. I might pop that up, just by one, um, which will that will make their our relationship with the soldiers go up. If we go to the report and we click on the treasury cash flow overview, here we can see a rundown, a breakdown of, every, of where all our spending is going. Um, notice that we're not actually getting any income tax for Jura, and that's because it's an unincorporated zone. And um, at least while they're rebelling, we don't want to incorporate them because that what happens is it it kind of drags it drags down the overall um, level of our of our civilization and um, uh, and our regime in general. So we want to leave that for the time being. Let's go back to this screen. So we will incorporate them eventually because we can start taxing them, and that's what we want. I mean, um, that's going to be our main way of making money. At the moment, we're making 240 credits of revenue and we're spending 222 credits of expenses. So we're in the green. Um, we're also making money from sailing, the sale of water. That will eventually run out, I think, once once more regimes discover more water um, that we probably won't be able to sell quite so many to the traders. I mean, if we look at the moment, they are water's selling for 0 0.1 credits, which isn't a lot. But um, you know that you can at least sell it at the moment. We can also sell food. Now we we're low on food, so I'm not going to do that. Um, but you know, it's just this is just going to show that there, if you've got an excess of something, like we've got loads of metal, for example, we could actually sell some metal now and 
we could get some we could get money for it and the uh, the traders have a certain amount of credits that they've got now um, you'll find that I, I found in one of my games at the end of the game towards the end of the game I really ran out of I didn't have any high-tech parts right and I needed them for something and I hadn't got the technology to be able to build them so I came to the traders to buy and they had no money available for purchase <laughs> so um, or available uh, they had no they wouldn't actually sell anything or they wouldn't buy anything so I had to buy something from them in order to give them money <laughs> and, then, and then to trade so the the economy is kind of interesting that you know the the traders can kind of run out it's it's kind of cool let's push back these uh, to these ruins and let's see if we can uh let's see if we can get some stuff off these ruins i don't remember if we've already actually uncovered those and they've been pushed back again um yeah we, we're still we still got some troops to replenish yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and replenish these troops. I'd, I want full strength formations. Um, we've still got the opportunity to build things as well. Now, the first thing that we need to build um, is going to be we need to build some more factories in Richter Snow. So if we just go to construct, uh, industry is quite expensive to build at the start. So industry one, it's going to give us fifty. It's going to give us an extra fifty industrial points each turn, which is quite a lot at this point of the game. It does take some. It takes twenty power, and uh, that uh, one thousand one hundred workers. But it's it's a significant investment at the start of the game. It's three turns of five hundred metals, one machine, um, a thousand workers, and also eighty industrial points, which is a lot at this point. But we've got aye, to aye, do sir. it. The quicker we get that up, the quicker we can kickstart our economy. I'm hoping that what we've got here is enough to, to hold these little these little insurrections that we've got going. Insurrection is not the right word. I, I guess we, it was us that was sort of moving towards them. Now, Iceron Commune. Here is Iceron. So this is another potential invasion target now that we've found this. We've got to be a bit careful. This guy's probably out of supply now. Yeah, he is. So we, I'm going to bring it back down this way. Um... Once we've we've got hold of Jura, once once we've we've got Jura, so they're not, you know, they're pacified. Basically, we can start thinking about moving troops up here onto this border and pushing this one back. Okay, I'm going to go to the next turn. I think I'm going to play play one more turn through, and then we'll uh, we'll call it an episode there. Uh, so there's no battles, or at least there was no w casualties. Um, okay, so we're entering a time of learning. This is good. This gives us bonus re research points. And because we've made it into a new epoch, we've gained a fate, a fate point too. We've researched high velocity guns. This is great. Now we can start building tanks. And tanks are going to be exceptionally useful because it will enable us to take down those uh, walkers that we've got a problem with. Okay, so we've got another zoo. <laughs> I don't know why we keep we keep having the ability to build these zoos. I'm not complaining. Let's see if we can push that border back there. Oh, first before I do anything else, let's just check out let's check out our decisions. There's a rebellion in Iceron Commune. Um, okay, the claim to have a force of several thousand rebels. This is another fifth column event. Help the rebels take Iceron. How long do we have to do this? Uh, if you're willing to commit to protect them and becoming the, the new ruler of their zone. Uh, everyone wants us to do this. The thing is, how long do we have to do it? If we have to do it immediately... Uh, I can't remember whether this happens immediately or not. Yeah, so I'll, I'll do it. Um, it might be committing us a little bit early, but that's fine. Uh, and we need to find someone for our staff council. None of these people are any good. Staff Council want... Uh, oh, which one is it? I can't remember which one. It might be Administration. No, it's not that one. I know Technician is for the model model design. Um, yeah, well, anyway. Let's just uh, let's just see who we can get with our strategic cards. There's a young... Uh, recruit a young leader. Yeah, that's the only one we've got. We've got plenty of political points, so let's let's execute that. We might get a slightly better leader here. Okay, Jack Neon Fort. Um, he's okay. It's only a, a, a 
capability one, which isn't very good. What about this guy? He's earning a cap one as well. Let's just put this person in here. Um, and staff council priorities. We're not bothered about postures quite so much yet, so let's just drop that a little. Um, postures are useful, but not at this point of the game. And order of battle priority change. Yeah, this is the discovery. This is the operate operationalize. That word I can't say. Um, occupation and government's priority change. Let's just drop that down a bit. And probably want to put more into discovery right now. Okay. And do we want to carry on researching padded and virus suit or automatic rifle? This is a uh, infantry, infantry weapons. We've got the carbine at the moment. We could, since we're we're researching padded and virus suit, let's go for that. Anything that keeps our men alive is good, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, request to help control traders. Where's this from? This is from Moribund Commune. Um, okay. We could take a hit to our commerce in order to in order to raise autocracy and increase our relationship with this major uh, major faction. And we will also have the support of most of our staff. I mean, these guys aren't going to like it. Yeah, we're going to have to do this. We're going full authoritarian in this game. Why not? Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. We we I kind of want to raise these higher. But we can't really do much. It's a shame that meritocracy is so, so low as well. But that's just the that's just the price you pay, I'm afraid, to be a to be a dictator. Okay, so we are now at war immediately with these guys. And here's these fifth columnists. So let's try to. I'm I'm gonna have to do something to save them. Let's see if we can just get these guys through. Um, and try to try to get them out. So we've actually gained some militia units to be at war with these guys, but it might have been a bit premature of me to do that because look, we we've now got these walker units to deal with too. Um, however, we do have a we do have a dedicated military formation here, uh, a, de a dedicated regular unit in the uh, first light infantry. So. I think the plan will be if we if we raise another formation and we're going to we use the the we'll use this first light infantry to hold these back and then the new formation I will send yeah the new formation I will send to help these other troops I think we're just about over the worst of the writing in Jura now. Yeah, we are. They might still uh, write again, but um, I need to get. I think it's wise to send out these. Uh, to send this inf infantry formation just to 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 put some to put a wall between me and the uh, Peloras here. Yeah, and then we're gonna have to. We will have to start moving some people up. We all get, we are gonna need a road here too. And is this being pushed back too? No, I don't think I took that. Um, these guys are going to run out of supply. Oops, not rail. That's not what I want. I want road. Um, let's make sure I've got the, the industrial points for this. I've got to be careful not to spend too many industrial points because um, we, are build, we are currently building more industry. We might have bitten off a bit more than we can chew here. I think we'll be okay. Um, I think we'll be okay. We should be able to at least for, move these guys back and form a defensive line. Um, I might be able to move one of these milit militia units away from here now. And yeah, I think I'll do that. I think I'll do that. I think I'll move these guys up and see if we can we can kind of pressure these uh, this Iceron commune from this side. Yeah, because if I remember right, their, their, their city was where? Is it here? Somewhere around here. Okay. Uh, maybe I should just destroy these guys fast. The problem is that we're going to take a big hit to our... Um, <laughs> we're going to take a real big hit to happiness if we do that. I've got a better idea. Let's, let's get these guys in. Let's get them training. 
Uh, oh, that's the, the, uh, that's not right. This is the second machine gun infantry. Yeah, we'll just execute the stratagem on them. That puts these guys into training. So they're going. They're now. They're now going to be. Um, they're, they're not very effective in combat actually, but they will be really useful with regards to generating some uh, generating some experience. I think I'll move these. I'm going to move them back round, and let the let these mutants ba uh, some space to back up, and. And then I'm going to move these militia units back, and the militia units can go. The militia units can go and help out with this war up here. Um, I might keep these. I might keep these buggies here too. In fact, uh, I'll, I'm going to attach the buggies to the second, so they take advantage of this training that they're going through too. Okay, now we've got this. Oh, it's this situation here. I think we're managing to hold them off all right. I'm going to wait a few turns until we've got our um, industry built. We've got two turns of industry. Um, this is probably going to take longer because we, we're... Well, maybe. We might be okay. Okay, guys. Um, it's about time. So I'm going to call it an end to that episode there. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye.